Oh. All right. I'm going to talk about the idea of the magnitudes of influence and how that leads into control. And then I plan to do a follow-up video once I learn more, a little bit more about the topic myself. But influence is like mental pressure. And is like the mental uh, prominency of your energy that you're putting towards something. That is the influence that you're manifesting you know, into an environmental part of your life. You know what I'm saying? Control is the authority of influence. Is kind of the uh, polarization of influence. You're, you're either influencing for yourself, you're in control, or you're completely out of control. And these polarizations bring conflict, influencing for the self brings internal quarrels that you must handle always because that's part of the process but i'm talking more about how with influence comes this uh with the ability to influence others comes this responsibility of knowing that what you're saying and what you're doing is being consumed by who is in your environment, or who can uh, be influenced by your actions. So this is key in, in developing in a desired outcome in the way that we desire, ultimately, so that we can have a balance of influence, but not control. Control will bring us the conflict that comes with because a, a thing about a parent, if a parent has to control their kids all the time, do this, don't drink this. I mean, in this world, we have to. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'd have to. <laughs> in reality, if you can influence your kid to understand that your influence is of magnitude and of prominency and it's something they will have to deal with then it's just one example of how he could carry that on to his own or she could carry that on into their own life and their own circumstances and take it somewhere in the future.